Hi guys, and in this tutorial you will learn how to make a butterfly and heart charms out of crochet and you can use them as charms or make a keyring like I am for this video. I will be using a 2.5 crochet hook and 2.5 millimeter size cotton yarn. Beginning with the butterfly, we are going to make a magic circle with our center color and after this we are going to chain three. So one, two and three. Next, we are going to treble crochet, so this just means yarn over and pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two once more. Now we're going to chain two, so one, two, and we're going to repeat the process of doing two treble crochets and chain two. In the end, you want to have seven um, couples of two treble crochets, and you want to um, end your last by chaining two. You want to now tighten your magic circle and with the chain two you want to join into the third of the chain three that we made in the beginning after this step you can either continue with this yarn to make your butterfly one color or you can join a new color i'm going to be joining white insert your hook into the space between the two treble crochets and i'm just going to tie a knot there because You are now going to place six treble crochets into the chain two space. Remember to do a treble crochet. You need to yarn over twice and we are going to pull through three times as well and just do six. You are now going to slip stitch into the space between the two treble crochets and once again work six treble crochets into that chain two space. We are going to repeat this pattern until the very end of this row. Finishing a row, you want to slip stitch into that first hole at the beginning and after this you are going to chain eight, so one, two three four five six seven and eight and now we are going to fold our kind of flower formation in half so there's three petals on one side and three petals on the other side and after this we're going to wrap our chain of eight around make sure it's not twisted so we're going to wrap around and then we're going to slip stitch into the very first chain and that's going to pretty much form our butterfly You can now snip off your yarn and tighten. Uh, you can leave your butterfly like this if you prefer the flappier look, but I think I'm going to stitch mine up because it looks a little bit more like a charm and it's a bit softer, like a little cushion. To stitch it up, I'm using a yarn needle and the color of the outside. In my case, it is white, so I'm going to thread my yarn needle. You don't need a lot of yarn for this, but I recommend uh, taking some with excess so it is comfortable stitching it. You're going to line up the two sides from the top and you just want to insert your needle in the way I'm showing on screen, which is going to secure the end tail so it doesn't kind of um, go outside the butterfly when you're stitching it and kind of pulling it.
At the end, you want to tie a couple of knots to make sure your yarn is secure and the butterfly won't untie. After this, we're going to snip off the yarn and hide the tails. Now our butterfly is ready. Moving on to the heart, you're going to need two colors of yarn. I'm using pink and outside for white, using the same 2.5 size cotton yarn. So I'm beginning with the magic ring, taking my hook and chaining two after this. This will be followed by three treble crochets. four double crochets a treble crochet and then following the treble crochet we're going to do another four double crochets and three treble crochets At the end, chain two and slip stitch into the magic ring. At this point, you want to tighten your heart from the little slip end we left from the magic ring. If you're interested, I'll leave a written tutorial for this by Sarah Maker, who I follow, whose tutorial I'll follow to make this heart. It'll be just in the link below. You want to begin row 2 by doing a single crochet into the chain 2 space and into the next stitch you're going to work 2 half double crochets and 1 double crochet all in the same stitch. After this you are going to do 3 double crochets in one stitch, 2 double crochets in the next stitch and then for the 4 next double crochets you're going to do 4 double crochets. To make the point of our heart, you're going to double crochet, treble crochet, and double crochet in one stitch, and then mirror their pattern by doing double crochets into the next four stitches, two double crochets in the one next stitch, three double crochets into the next stitch, and then a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch, 
and then single crochet into the chain two space from the start and I slip stitched it into the heart even though in the pattern it says to do it into the slip stitch from previous row. To make the border around the heart, I'm going to tie a knot with my white yarn and just work single crochets all around. I think this is going to make a nice and clean cut looked border. I want to make another heart following the same pattern and we're going to attach them with single crochets just like I'm doing on the screen. Plus we are going to, you can stuff it if you want to. I think I'm going to stuff mine but I feel it will look completely fine if it's not uh, stuffed with stuffing. So in order to stuff it you want to leave a little gap and then fill it.
To make it a keyring, you can use one of these jump rings and just easily attach it to the yarn. Or you can make a whole keyring with beads. So I'm going to be doing that. So for this, I made two butterflies and one heart. I'm attaching my yarn like this, so you can't see how I've attached it. And then I'm placing a pink bead, a little pearl bead and a pink bead, after which I'm going to attach my heart. This is how it turned out and I think it's such a cute project either as a gift or for yourself. Also these charms are so nice to use in many of your other projects so if you enjoyed this tutorial please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below some videos you would like to see in the future. Thank you, bye!